Okay, we had a look at a question just like this, question one, uh, last week. Do you remember, even though you can do this by guesswork, I out the way that actually yeah, I is there another way we can do this a more efficient way? Yeah. yeah. You go, I got 80 times the by 4. I did that by And then you subtract those three scores. Oh. I did that. You subtract those two scores and you'll end up with 94. But then, as Holly pointed out to me, it has to be over 80, so I just put it up to 95. Okay, so. <laughs> you just made it to 84. Or you just do 81. So, let's just, just make sure we know what's going on here. Uh, what, what is this? What, what's this about? What does that help us work out? Okay, very good. The mean you want to achieve, and when you add a score onto here, you're going to have not three, but four scores. Okay? So, therefore, by the time you add onto that, Four score, if you want a mean of 80 over those four scores, they'll need to add up to 320. Does that make sense? So it's like, I've got something I'm getting up to. This is what I already have. I, I don't even know what this is, but 200 and something, I'm guessing? No? Yeah, 200 and... Yeah, it's 200 and something because uh, if I want to get to 320, this is the gap, okay? So therefore, if I got this score exactly, I would land on a mean of 80. Exactly, but we don't want a mean of 80 exactly. We want to be over 80. So therefore, I mean, I didn't say anything about you know decimal points or anything like that. I suppose you could have said 94.1. Well, because the rest of the scores are whole. Yeah, the rest of the scores are whole numbers. So I think 95 is a good conclusion. Yes. By the way, um, this kind of thing gets like this is an actual thing because. Um, you know, if some of you guys go for a scholarship, um, when you go to university, one of the conditions of holding onto a scholarship or an internship or all that kind of thing is often they will check the averages of your scores and they'll say, you need to get over this and you need to keep that throughout the course of your tertiary studies in order to retain the scholarship. So, uh, and I think it's actually usually over 85, depends on the scholarship. All right. So, anyhow, now you know how to calculate that. Um, X equals one and a half. Agreement? Hands up. Who agrees? Yeah. Hands up properly. I, no. Okay, that's better. Thank you. Hands down. Um, let's quickly just, I mean, this shouldn't take us too long. There's not that many moves you have to do to get to a solution. In fact, we could do two moves at once on this first line that we could get to like one line from the solution. What do you guys reckon I should do? So, I've got two problems, right? I've got x's on both sides, and then I've got numbers on both sides. So I'm going to fix that in one here. I'm going to add 3x to both sides. That'll get all the x's on one side. And then what about this guy? What about this number? I'm going to add 1 to both sides, and that'll get all the numbers over that side. So far, so good. So that'll give me 6x on the left, and what on the right? Nine. So x equals 9 over 6. Is that 1 and a half? Yeah, yeah. Thumbs up. Okay, um, standard deviation. I don't know my calculator. So are you, are you happy with that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, it's the kind of thing which you need to punch through manually. So yeah, okay, I remember the skill. That's fine.